Hello Virgo, welcome back to the Illus Illuminator. Happy, happy new year to everyone. Uh, if you missed out my memo, I had some issues with my neck, so uh, I had to recover from that. So um, that's why I'm a little bit late, but let's see what we got going on. You got the he says, she says spread for January at this point, at, at this moment. It will be for you and whomever you're dealing with. I usually do the masculine side and then I do the feminine side. So if you're a cross watcher, feel free to swap the energies and you know relate to the more feminine uh, aspect of the reading. So I will have an extended reading with more um, guidance at the end of the video. You will find that at my page on Vimeo. So you can go ahead and watch that one if you want to. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see. <clears throat> what are the messages for Virgo? You got the Seven of Cups as your first card out. So some of you may have a lot of options. All right, a lot of decisions that you need to make regarding a uh, regarding finances maybe. All right, some of you may have been overspending too much over um, you know, overspending, drinking, or you know, doing a lot of irresponsible behavior is what I do get from the Seven of Cups with the King of Pentacles. All right, just try to notice your um, um, pattern when it comes to finances. Don't um, you know? Don't don't spend it for nonsense. Just try to keep that intact. All right, and you will find, and you also need to find some more direction like make a goal make a plan in your life because you got the chariot that's talking about a path and that talks about like a goal a specific goal that you want to reach with willpower and determination so perhaps some of you may have been a little bit scattered or you've you know it has been the december month so let's be honest we all have been spending a lot of money all right but try to uh, recover from that with the chariot all right <clears throat> is what i'm getting here but for a lot of you, I do get that with the Three of Cups, you've been drinking and partying a little bit, all right? For those who have not been drinking and partying, could just be like, you know, shopping or whatever. So try to watch your expenses, all right? So that's what I'm getting through for you guys. Uh, others of you, there might have been a earth sign, um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that you have been very confused about lately because they have been very cold and very detached all right and i feel like you are projecting that energy back by also being very scattered and just taking on to their energy and not really giving a lot about what they're up to and what they're doing and i feel like that's a very good choice because you're definitely heading towards success you're definitely heading towards uh, a more brighter um, opportunities all right also, I do see that there is a pathway that is going to be opened up for you and it's going to ask you to be very explorative, all right? Don't get stuck in your old routines or get scared to go into a new direction or a new distance in your life because that would be, you know, you would miss out a lot of opportunities and a lot of experiences if you keep on doing what you were doing forever, all right? Because the King of Pentacles in the reverse is a very stuck, stubborn kind of energy. Someone that does not want to change and someone that is very narrow-minded. So don't, um, don't get, it, get caught up in this kind of energy. Explore your options is what I'm getting. Get a lot of sevens here, so a lot of spiritual insights might be coming in. You may have been through a spiritual healing, is what I'm getting. What's going on with the other person? What's going on with the other person? The moon, yeah, they've been very secretive, holding back, all right, but you know, deep waters, deep, deep waters here. Still waters have deep, what was it saying? Deep waters have, still waters have deep, wow, I forgot, I really love that sentence, but I, somehow I'm a blackout. <laughs> uh, fuck, no, I want to know what it is. Still waters run deep, thank you. Wow, 
Sometimes that just happens. Sometimes that just happens. Don't forget, this is like my fourth language that I speak. Like English is my fourth language. It's not even my mother language or the second or the third is the fourth. So if things like that happen, just know that I'm, I'm getting like a lot of information from different languages and then I'm trying to translate that and decode that. So that's what's going on with me. So we got the Knight of Page of Cups with the Nine of Cups as well. So I feel like this person is very confused as well about their desires, about their wishes. I feel that they can be overindulging sometimes. Definitely with the Moon and the Nine of Cups, this person may be a heavy emotional drinker, heavy emotional. Um, you know, they they have some blockages when it comes to expressing their emotions. They really go very freely towards what they desire out of life. Life and they take short-term um, satisfactions upon themselves all right so that could have been something that has been going on with this individual uh, very much keeping their feelings on guard sometimes they open up sometimes they turn cold sometimes they really show you that you know you're all that they want and then they disappear out of the blue I feel like this person is going through some kind of um, healing themselves they have a lot of fears they have a lot of struggles in expressing their emotions because I feel like if they <clears throat> they have definitely some kind of a duality within them you know like very much bad good and bad duality and sometimes when they uh, when they get too overly emotional they can get into the dark duality and once they figure out that they have been in a dark duality they switch to the to the light one and that could be causing for you a lot of confusion all right But most of all, I do see that this person has, <clears throat> like I sta tried to state in the beginning of the video, still waters runs deep. That's going to be most definitely your, uh, your title. So what is the current energy for Virgo? Two of Swords. You seem to be blacked out just as much as I am right now. And they're like, what am I going to do? This is indecisiveness. This is trying to balance your mind, trying to search for some facts around the issue in order to make a decision. You may be trying to put this person on a silent treatment because they have been, you know, non-expressive, uh, non-action oriented towards you, being kind of like disappearing in, you know, in the middle of the night, the moon looks like someone that has been disappeared. All right, and therefore you're kind of like blocking them out. You want to focus on your own path, you want to focus on your own success, and you're very determined to get there and not giving any crap about anything anymore. You know, you're very, very determined. You want to make things work in your life. You, you have this, I, I feel it in your energy, like you have this goal, you're like, I want to reach this, I want to have this, that, X, Y, and Z, and nothing is going to stop me. Even your confusion or your childishness or whatever is not going to stop me. All right, so yeah, four of wands, you want to buy, I wanted to just say, there is some kind of a property that you have in mind. Perhaps you want to buy your uh, first house or your apartment, and you're very much focused on your stabili stability, blah, 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 bloopers, <laughs> stability, all right, you, you're definitely very much focused on your stability all right and whatever past uh, confusion you were going through you're about to overcome that there's an advancement here yeah queen of pentacles there you go we got the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles already popping out that's a good thing for some of you your partner has not been very engaged all right but i feel like it's saying that it's a time for you to give rather than take, you know, just keep on focusing on nurturing yourself and the situation as much as you can. Focus on your finances, focus on exploring other options. It does not mean exploring other people. It just means like, what else can you do to make yourself happy? What else can you do to expand your um, finances perhaps within the home environment or your expenses, you know? These kind of things could be coming up to the service. Definitely now we are in you know Capricorn season Capricorn or Saturn is in Jupiter Jupiter is all about expansion all right exploring exploring your um, your horizon 
So yeah, that's that's definitely what I'm seeing going on. You're definitely very much focused on your on your home life. All right, maybe, maybe making it more cozy for yourself, or um, you know, just taking great care of your of your environment, which eventually also makes you feel better. But financially, you, you I, if this is a financial uh, situation, maybe in the past you made the wrong decision here. All right, because you you know you have the king of pentacles in the reverse perhaps you made a big um you know purchase and and right now you are recovering from that but no need to worry you know no need to worry you just have to take one step back and uh, and get your focus back is what i'm seeing here and it does not have to be like a big mistake or something but it could be you know, this is the all that glitter ain't that gold. So you may have chosen a direction or um, an opportunity or something materialistic that eventually had you in some kind of a depth, even though the depth is not that big, you are now recovering from that is what I'm seeing here. So we got the Ten of Swords with the Page of Swords, Ten of Swords in the reverse. So this individual is, Wow, they got a lot of swords here. So this looks like someone... Someone that has a lot of water and air in their chart, all right? Uh, Cancer, Pisces prominently. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I feel that their emotions are definitely still holding them back. They are still very insecure when it comes to communicating. I feel like they can't seem to let go of some kind of an ending that has occurred in their life. Could be most definitely with you. I feel like they they keep on holding on to whatever has happened in the past, which makes it very impossible for them to completely move on. And each time they take this step forward with you, they they get caught back in their in their own insecurities or in their own way of seeing things which is probably making it very impossible for them to um, behave in a certain way or to express their emotions i feel like they, there is this element of like not trusting people um, this might not be completely towards you but due to whatever trauma that had that they have been through and not very much uh, knowing how to deal with that because with the moon being here in the first card out it seems like th this person is going through a lot of subconscious fear subconscious um, traumas that they are trying to suppress by drinking or they're trying to suppress by um, short-term satisfactions like I said so and once they they get sober so to speak you know so to speak they get sober they get caught up in a lot of illusions in their head they get stuck in their head so this person is trying to find their way to get out of it i feel like there are some stages when you are um, going through trauma like that because one thing is that you need to <coughs> sorry that you need to acknowledge your uh, pattern all right like this is the ten of swords is the pattern once you acknowledge your patterns you can actually do a lot of research about it and start to find a way to get yourself out of this stuck energy or confused energy or just seeing yourself as as like a minor in life so <clears throat> wow i cannot speak so i guess that this person has definitely some issues regarding their throat chakra there could be also you virgo all right like this like i said these readings are masculine energy uh, versus feminine energy uh, or I mean feminine energy versus masculine energy which means that your masculine wants to take action right and your feminine energy is still dealing with a lot of subconscious traumas or fears or the past or patterns cycles that you need to break through so don't just look at this like you know one dimensional way is what I want to say um, this might be definitely also something that you that can help you all right so try to find more ways to um, you know maybe write some affirmations speak out some affirmations into your mirror um, that can 
how do I say this? Like that can liberate you from this stuck mental energy. And don't think that you you can't do anything about it. Like this is like self imprisonment. This is uh, like thinking like everything happens to you and everything is you know everyone hates you. Everyone is picking out on you or talking about you. Like don't let those fears get into you. And if it's not you, it's definitely the other person, all right? So maybe that's why you need to be very nurturing, very caring, all right? Like I said earlier on, it's a time rather than give, than take. So you never know what some people are going through. And that's exactly what I'm seeing going on here because the moon is here. So even though this person may have caused you a lot of confusion, you never know what a person is going through when they're not responding or when they're not texting. They can go through something very, very major, uh, which you don't know about. So I feel like this is saying like, you know, respect other people in that sense. I don't know. That's just what came out. What is your blockage? Wow, King of Wands with the Ace of Wands is in your blockage. That's that's a lot of passion. That's a lot of desire to create. That's a lot of need to be on top of things. With this being in your blockage, this could be the person that you're dealing with. You may be feeling that they're not mad enough, man enough to take action towards you. Uh, that it may have been quite a while since they have been... Um, taking the initiative towards you, right? So that could be something that is really bothering you with this individual. But like I said, I don't, I don't feel like this is because they don't have feelings towards you. I feel like it's more, they're going through some kind of an ending. For some, they may have gone through a very narcissistic relationship, perhaps with their par parents or with their children. We got the chariot in the reverse. I think you have also a lot of desires and dreams and maybe you should not go overboard with yourself. Okay, maybe you should not go overboard with yourself. Just Try to do things one step at a time, all right, before you burn yourself out because when, with the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands, it's just like, you know, too much fiery energy or um, the lack of it that can, you know, that needs to be restored. Maybe your motivation is lacking when it comes to your uh, career. If that's the case, try to motivate yourself, try to, for me, uh, personally, I like to work with crystals when, when I feel really depleted or, you know, demotivated. I have my um, uh, red jasper, which is a very, very good stone to, you know, ignite that, uh, I want to say sacral chakra, it's not, solar plexus chakra. So work with a lot of orange, alright? So work with a lot of orange. Sometimes lighting an orange candle can also definitely work, it's magic. For some also I'm getting that there has been only a sexual affair between both of you or only passion and you feel a bit stuck about whether it's more than that or not. Oof, all right. They got the chariot reversed, the king of swords and the tower reversed. So this person is definitely being very cold, they're very introspective. I feel like they are definitely uh, taking a very long time to decide which direction they, they want to go in their life. I feel like you have it more figured out than them, which makes them um, even contemplate more about their next venture or their next decision in life. And I feel like that's why you need to take it a little bit easy on them. I feel like they're trying to avoid changes in their life because they don't know if what they truly want in life and they're trying to um, come up with solutions. All right, and I feel like the, the whole story about the lack of energy, the lack of motivation and willpower is definitely going on with your person as well. They're really in their head about which direction they want to go in, in in life and I don't think that it has 
all to do with you it could be maybe they're trying to has like they're very hesitant in making any decision because they don't know um what will i don't know how to say it but like And they don't know what to get rid of in order to make those changes in their life, all right? And they're trying to avoid some kind of big change. Is what I'm seeing here. For some, and this is only for some, I'm getting that this person has lost their... Uh, the, their partner or their ex-partner with uh, a car accident. Uh, I'm so sorry, but I, that's what I'm getting through. That's why this person is very much in deep thoughts about life, you know, like what is life? What is it going to get me? What does it matter if I don't succeed there or there? You know what I mean? That's why they rather focus on what, what makes them happy at the moment. It's not like a long-term goal that they have in mind at this point. But that's just for a small portion of you. Maybe they are blaming themselves for the car crash. I'm getting a car crash. I'm so sorry. It's very odd. I'm so sorry. This is very, very odd that I'm getting that. But I do get something in that sense or some kind of a... Um, a never mind. Let's just, let's just move on, guys. Um, let's see. Hopes for Virgo. Okay, you got the Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. So, this has been a very difficult cycle for you, and you're just wanting to be over with that. And I feel like that, that completion is coming. Your stress and your worry is going to be relief. I feel like you do want to persevere. You want to be there for this person despite the fact that things are very um, burdensome or very confusing. I feel like you know exactly what this person is going through or if this person did not tell you about it, you have an idea about where they're coming from. And I feel like you have been very patient with them and now it's the time for things to be completed in this connection like the tough cycle is coming to an ending and you know that you can feel that and it's time for you to also not take on all the, their burdens on you all right like the, if 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 you know that this person is going through a lot and you are the empath and you also you know you want to be there for them nurture them take care of them it's okay to do so but just try to replenish your energy as well. Do, do not try to fix every little uh, problem on your own or in your own head is what I'm getting as well. So basically don't, don't hoard with the situation. And also don't stress too much, okay? Don't stress too much about it because that's not going to help you. That's a lot of cards that flew out. Yeah, look at that. It's the Nine of Swords reverse with the Seven of Wands. I feel like they want to tell you, like, if they go on silent and they, you know, uh, zoom out from the world, it's it's because they're they're trying to release their own fears and they want some understanding from from their part. And I feel for you, it's kind of like, well, I'm just trying to be there for you. I'm just trying to be there for the person and uh, just be nice or just be cool with them. But sometimes they have to fight their own inner demons and you can't do anything about that. That's just something mental. That's just something internal. And I feel like you both are going through that. So you both need to focus on dealing with this heavy energy in your mind yourself. and. I feel like I, f I see like this rat. Um, I see I, I see something like you're so stuck on each other, or stuck with one another, in, in trying to help each other. It's almost like the blind leading the blind sometimes. So that's why sometimes the separation and the silence is needed for both of you to know how to work with your own fears and your own demons, right? 
yeah, like I said, this person does not want to make the same mistakes again. This person does not want to make um, a wrong decision and regret it later on. They want to be very precise and detailed oriented on the solution before they like take care of the solution because they don't want to regret anything all right so so they're working through their own fear they're working through their own lack of how do i say this Like their poor decision making process and they know that they've made some mistakes in the past and they don't want to repeat that again is what I'm seeing here and once they have protected themselves protected their energy and get get rid of these demons within themselves and these regrets because I do see a lot of regret from this individual they will come forward they will come forward but first they need to figure it out themselves like look at that the the, the queen of swords right here with the king of swords they're in deep deep contemplation in order to find a solution so if if your person has gone silent they're really thinking about what they need to change what they need to leave behind like i said in order to not repeat the same um, issue your person is definitely growing, all right? Just appreciate this moment is what I'm hearing as well, Virgo. What is the outside influence for you? Outside influence for Virgo, please. Four of Cups reverse. They don't want to miss another opportunity. That's what I've been preaching. I can't make more out of it. It's so crystal clear. They're coming out of a period of depression, a period of, you know, fighting, fighting themselves, fighting other people, of holding back, all right? They're regretting. Five of Swords in the reverse, all right? That's, that's like losing a battle. That's like losing a battle and losing a lot of things that you really cared for. And, and that could be most definitely you, and that's because you moved on, because you're like, hey, I don't get what you're up to, and you're not giving me any any clarity so i need to find my own clarity in life but see it the other way around you do you did find your own clarity you did find your own path forward in life you know you you got some kind of a light bulb you saw the, the light at the end of the tunnel something switched within your energy because of their behavior so they actually did you a favor is what i'm getting they're very unhappy that's why this is a time for you to give to nurture to bring stability into uh into the life ten of swords this is a big betrayal big ending this might be you ending the situation all right okay if you're if you're gonna be like no i did not they they, they left me the cross watcher is probably the one that you know is feeling that then but there's definitely some very harsh ending that happens here death and rebirth in the reverse for their outside energy so you're not completely letting go, go either so you're definitely in this transitioning like you know when you go through an awakening or a spiritual transitioning and then you're in the middle of nowhere and like a black you know black nothingness that's kind of like the energy right now is it like you don't know if you need to leave it, you don't know if there is going to be a rebirth, you don't know what you want to do. But allow those, allow any changes to happen. Like allow the changes to happen. Just go with the flow of life. Don't try to figure out what it is because that's what drives you crazy. Alright, I'm not going to pick <laughs> the last time I did that I just like they're just gone. Just let me... That's you. You know exactly what you want, Virgo. You have meditated on this. You have, you know, asked your spirit guides, perhaps even like, you know, astrologers or, you know, getting psychic readings or whatever. But any other than that you've gone inwards and you know exactly that this person really 
is the one for you, you want to take action towards them, but you're just hesitant because you, you're not sure if they're ready to receive your attention, is what I'm getting here. So let me just close this reading off with some moon cards for you, and then we are going to take it over on Vimeo. So let's see. This is a very interesting reading for you guys. Action. It's time to take action. What did we say? Just just take action, all right? Stop being resistant, all right? Whatever this is, this could be a project if you're done with a dude or whatever. This could be a project. This could just be your inner masculine that is a bit wounded and is a bit like lacking courage to take action, all right? And that could be what you are going through right now. Needing to take action, not letting your ego stand in your way. Put your heart's true desire into action is what I'm seeing. Your commitment is being tested. Oh, wow. You're very close to achieving your goal. See, I'm telling you, a time for healing. Don't let go. Don't give up. That's what I'm hearing. Don't give up. Just take action. Be courageous. Reach out if it, you know, if you need to reach out. Don't get caught up in this like, oh, but they did that and, you know, he said, she said thing. <laughs> So just do whatever you are guided to do. I feel like your spirit guides are most definitely telling you which direction to go and you will get full clarity and full understanding and go towards your desire with nothing holding you back. All right, be courageous and move towards what you want in life or who you want in life. And don't get caught up in those paradigms of like, they, he needs to do this or she needs to do that or you know in th those kind of roles in life just do whatever you want to do I'm sad so you know I do whatever I want to do anyway like I don't get caught up in like masculine roles I am a masculine energy so a time for healing okay and that's definitely for your partner or whoever, whomever you're in, interested in a time of feeling and your commitment is being tested so stay committed and yes that was your reading Virgo I thank you so much for your support your likes and your shares and if you want the extended reading is in the link below this video and I thank you so so much thank you and bye